Coffee Break English, Season 4, Episode 3. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Coffee Break English. My name's Josie. And my name's Mark. How are you today, Josie? I'm fine, thanks, Mark. I'm a little tired because I went for a run yesterday, but I'm tired in a good way. That's good, that's good. I didn't go for a run yesterday, but I'm hoping to go for a run later today. Ooh, fingers crossed it's nice weather then. Indeed. Today we are heading to Hawaii. We are. I don't know much about Hawaii. I only really know what I've seen on TV and in films, and it looks an amazing place. It does. It looks absolutely beautiful. And we're going to be learning about a crater in Hawaii. What's a crater? A crater is basically a very big hole in the ground, which is usually caused by something hitting the ground or an explosion. Okay, and is there a particular language point that we're going to be focusing on today? There is. We're going to focus on pairs of adjectives and prepositions, also called dependent prepositions. That sounds interesting. Let's listen to the text. So it's over to Kate for this text. Hi, Josie. Hi, Mark. This is Kate. And today, we're traveling to Hawaii to find out about a fascinating geographical curiosity. Halemaumau Crater in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park is different from many of the other craters in the area. What sets it apart is that it once contained an active lava lake. A lava lake is similar to a water lake, except instead of water, there's boiling hot lava inside. Hale Maumau is in the shape of a circle, and it is located in the larger Kilauea crater. It used to be around 800 meters wide, but in May 2018, the ground around the crater collapsed and it became almost double its original size. At this time, the park was closed because the land wasn't safe. After safety inspections, the park was reopened in September, and people were allowed to pass through again, but the collapses made it much harder to see the lava lake. In the Hawaiian religion, Hale Maumau Crater is thought to be the home of Pele, who is famous for being the goddess of volcanoes and fire. She is particularly significant in their beliefs, as she was responsible for creating the islands of Hawaii. She is also the daughter of not one, but two descendants of the supreme beings. Her power and role in the Hawaiian religion mean that her home, Hale Maumau, is an important site. These beliefs have even been adopted into science. Pele's tears are rocks formed as drops of lava cool mid-air, and Pele's hair is a term for thin fibers of volcanic glass. Hale Maumau Crater is unusual and amazing, but Hawaii has even more to offer. If you are interested in volcanic activity, you will be amazed by Hawaii. All kinds of incredible volcanic sites can be seen on the islands. Smoke, geysers, and volcanoes coughing as they spit out smaller bursts of lava are all quite common, but incredible sights. There's nothing to be afraid of, as long as you watch from a safe distance. Thanks, Kate. That was very interesting to learn about this crater. And all the more reason to visit Hawaii. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go back through the text and we'll talk about the interesting words and phrases in the text now. Halemaumau Crater in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park is different from many of the other craters in the area. 
So here we have our first example of these dependent prepositions, which is our language point for today. So Halima'u Ma'u Crater in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park is different from many other craters in the area. So this adjective different, it often goes together with the preposition from. So I could say, for example, that the weather in Hawaii is different from the weather in Scotland. That's right. Very different, I think. But we could also say different too. Many people say different too. I could say the weather in Hawaii is different to the weather in Scotland. Okay, we'll see more dependent prepositions as we go through this text. We will. What sets it apart is that it once contained an active lava lake. Yeah, so what sets it apart? This means what makes it different from other craters, from other things in the area. And what makes it different is that it once contained an active lava lake. So, Josie, what's lava? Yes, lava is very hot liquid rock that comes out of a volcano. Okay, so a lava lake is similar to a water lake, except instead of water, there's boiling hot lava inside. Yeah, maybe not the kind of lake for swimming in. Definitely not. And in this sentence, we have another example of a dependent preposition. A lava lake is similar to a water lake. We always say similar to. For example, I am similar to my dad because we are both short. Okay, now there's another word in here, boiling, boiling hot lava. What is boiling, Josie? Yeah, boiling just means very, very hot, basically. If you boil water, you heat it up so that it bubbles, and gets very hot, maybe to make some tea. So boiling hot is very, very hot. Okay. Halima'uma'u is in the shape of a circle and it is located in the larger Kilauea crater. Yeah, so Halima'uma'u is located in this larger crater. The adjective located always goes with the preposition in. So, for example, we could say Manchester is located in the north of England. Exactly, yeah. So this crater used to be around 800 metres wide. But in May 2018, the ground around the crater collapsed and it became almost double its original size. Yeah, the crater used to be around 800 metres wide. In the previous episode, we talked about used to. Used to be, it means it was in the past, 800 metres wide. What's wide, Mark? It would be the measurement from one side to the other. Exactly, yes. But something happened. The ground around the crater collapsed. It fell down very suddenly. And the crater became almost double, almost two times its original size. At this time, the park was closed because the land wasn't safe. After safety inspections, the park was reopened in September and people were allowed to pass through again, but the collapses made it much harder to see the lava lake. Yeah, so after safety inspections, after safety examinations, after checking for safety, the park was reopened. It was opened again. By adding the letters RE to the beginning of a verb, it means again. So we can say redo, reuse, reopen. At the end of this episode, we'll re-listen to our text. We'll listen again to the text. For now, let's take a short break. We'll be back in just a moment. The Coffee Break English podcast is helping you to improve your understanding of English. 
we also offer extra resources, which include transcripts of our texts and conversations and vocabulary lists to help you learn even more. To get these extra resources, just visit coffeebreakenglish.com and sign up for free. Welcome back to Coffee Break English. We're talking about Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater in Hawaii. Let's continue our text. In the Hawaiian religion, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater is thought to be the home of Pele, who is famous for being the goddess of volcanoes and fire. Yes, yeah, so we have Pele, and she is famous for being the goddess of volcanoes and fire. So first of all, we always say famous for doing something. That's right. So Shakespeare was famous for writing lots of plays. Yes, but Pele is famous for being the goddess of volcanoes and fire. A goddess is like a female god, a female spirit who is believed to have special power. That's right. She is particularly significant in their beliefs, as she was responsible for creating the islands of Hawaii. Yeah, so she is particularly significant. She's particularly important in the beliefs of the Hawaiian religion because she was responsible for creating Hawaii. Responsible for, we always say responsible for. For example, a teacher is responsible for the children in their class. And we are responsible for helping you learn English. Exactly. Coming back to Pele, she is also the daughter of not one, but two descendants of the Supreme Beings. Hmm. She's the daughter of descendants of the Supreme Beings. First of all, what's a descendant, Mark? A descendant is someone in a later generation who is related to someone from a previous generation. That's right. So it's like your family, but a long, long time ago, yeah. basically. And Pele is the daughter of descendants of the supreme beings. So supreme means very important or great in terms of power, so very powerful. That's right, and a being is a living animal, human or, or spirit. That's right, anything that's alive. Okay. Her power and role in the Hawaiian religion mean that her home, Hale Mau Mau, is an important site. These beliefs have even been adopted into science. Yes, these beliefs have been adopted into science. Adopted, to adopt something into something means to bring it into, in this case, science. So you can adopt a belief, but you could, for example, adopt a son or daughter. That's right. So if you adopt a child, you, you bring them into your family. So let's find out how Pelly has been adopted into science. Pelly's tears are rocks formed as drops of lava cool midair. Yes, this phrase is quite difficult to understand, I think. So it's explaining what Pelly's tears are. First of all, what are tears literally, Mark? Tears are the, the water or the liquid that comes out of your eyes when you cry. That's right. But in this case, Pele's tears, they are rocks which are formed, which are made when drops of lava, little pieces, little balls of lava, when they cool, when they get colder in midair, in the middle of the air. Okay. And uh, Pele's hair is a term for thin fibres of volcanic glass. Yeah, so it's not real hair, obviously. It's a term for thin fibres, thin threads or strands of volcanic glass. Okay. 
Halimaumau Crater is unusual and amazing, but Hawaii has even more to offer. If you are interested in volcanic activity, you will be amazed by Hawaii. Okay, we're back to our dependent prepositions here. We've got two in this sentence. If you are interested in volcanic activity, so the adjective interested always goes with the preposition in. I am interested in music. Exactly. And you will be amazed by. So another dependent preposition, amazed, goes with by. That's right. It can also go with at, actually. This is another flexible one. So we could say, you will be amazed at Hawaii. All kinds of incredible volcanic sites can be seen on the islands. Smoke, geysers and volcanoes coughing as they spit out smaller bursts of lava are all quite common but incredible sites. Yeah, so these incredible sites, they include smoke. And then the next word, you said geysers. Kate from the US said geysers. And I would say geysers for this word. It comes from Icelandic, because in Iceland there is a geyser called geysir. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So you are actually pronouncing this word in the most authentic way we can say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but what is a geyser, geyser, geyser? It's a hole in the Earth's surface from which hot water explodes. It comes out, it flies up into the air. That's right. Very, It's very like powerful when the water comes out, isn't it? Yes, and it's an incredible sight. Mm. And another incredible sight that Kate mentions is volcanoes coughing as they spit out small bursts of lava. So the volcanoes are not really coughing. But they are, there are some small bits of lava, small bits of liquid coming out very quickly, basically. Okay. There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you watch from a safe distance. Yes. So here we have our final dependent preposition. The adjective afraid, which means scared, always goes with the preposition of. So I could say... I am afraid of spiders, for example. Okay, let us re-listen to our text and this time see if you can spot all of these dependent prepositions. Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park is different from many of the other craters in the area. What sets it apart is that it once contained an active lava lake. A lava lake is similar to a water lake, except instead of water, there's boiling hot lava inside. Hale Ma'u Ma'u is in the shape of a circle, and it is located in the larger Kilauea crater. It used to be around 800 meters wide. But in May 2018, the ground around the crater collapsed, and it became almost double its original size. At this time, the park was closed because the land wasn't safe. After safety inspections, the park was reopened in September, and people were allowed to pass through again, but the collapses made it much harder to see the lava lake. In the Hawaiian religion, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater is thought to be the home of Pele, who is famous for being the goddess of volcanoes and fire. She is particularly significant in their beliefs, as she was responsible for creating the islands of Hawaii. She is also the daughter of not one, but two descendants of the supreme beings. Her power and role in the Hawaiian religion mean that her home, Hale Ma'u Ma'u, is an important site. These beliefs have even been adopted into science. Pele's tears are rocks formed as drops of lava cool mid-air, and Pele's hair is a term 
for thin fibers of volcanic glass. Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater is unusual and amazing, but Hawaii has even more to offer. If you are interested in volcanic activity, you will be amazed by Hawaii. All kinds of incredible volcanic sites can be seen on the islands. Smoke, geysers, and volcanoes coughing as they spit out smaller bursts of lava are all quite common but incredible sights. There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you watch from a safe distance. Thanks everyone for listening to this episode of Coffee Break English. Don't forget, if you would like to get the lesson notes for this episode, you can sign up for free at coffeebreakenglish.com. We'll send you an email with a vocabulary list and a copy of the text from this week's episode. And you can also find us on social media. Just search for Coffee Break English on Facebook and Instagram. And next week, we're off to Canada. So we'll see you then. Bye bye. You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2022, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2022, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved. 